Hi, I'm David. Today we're going to talk about sketching a graph. So we've got this equation, y equals 9 minus x squared, and suppose we want to sketch it. There are a couple things we can do to get a pretty good idea of what this looks like. The first thing we can do is we can try to find intercepts. Uh, we can try to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept is where this function hits the x-axis. If it hits the x-axis, then y is equal to 0. The y value is 0. So all I do is take this and replace y with 0 and see what I get. So if I replace y with 0, I get 0 equals 9 minus x squared. Now this one's not too hard to solve. It's the difference of two squares. So I factor 9 minus x squared, and I get 0 equals 3 minus x and 3 plus x. Um, this gives me the solution x equals 3 or negative 3. So whatever this function looks like, it must hit the x-axis at x equals 3. Uh, maybe I'll say this right here is 3. And x equals negative 3. Maybe I'll call this one negative 3. So I'll put two little dots there for the x-intercepts. Okay, now I want to do the same thing for the y-intercepts. The y-intercept is where this function hits the y-axis. That's where x equals 0. So I'll take this function and I'll replace x with 0. And I'll have y equals 9 minus 0 squared. Now this one's even easier to solve because 0 squared is just 0. So I get y equals 9. So I'll put that over here on my graph. I'll put a little 9 right up there. And I'll put a little y-intercept of y equals 9 right there. So whatever this graph looks like, it hits the y-axis right here at 9, and it hits the x-axis at two places, at negative 3 and at 3. Another thing I can do to check, um, to try to get an idea of what this looks like is check for symmetry. So there are three types of symmetry that are generally looked at. There's symmetry about the x-axis, symmetry about the y-axis, and symmetry about the origin. So let's check for symmetry about the x-axis. Does this thing look the same on the top as it does on the bottom? Um, if it's symmetric about the x-axis, uh, then if I replace y with negative y, I'll get the same equation. So let's do that. Instead of y, I'll put a negative y, and then I'll say 9 minus x squared and leave that part alone. Um, I can simplify that, and I get negative y equals 9 minus x squared. Um, I see that this is not the same as the original equation, so this one is not symmetric about the x-axis. It does not look the same on the top as it does on the bottom. All right, let's do the same thing for the y-axis. Here I'm going to replace the x with a negative x and see if I get the same equation. So I've got y equals 9 minus the quantity negative x squared. Here, if I simplify this, I get y equals 9 minus x squared. And I look, this is the same as the original equation, so it is symmetric about the y-axis. In other words, it looks the same on the right as it does on the left. The last one to check is symmetry about the origin. Uh, here, I replace both y with negative y and x with negative x. If I do both those and I get the original equation, uh, then it's symmetric about the origin, meaning it looks the same if I rotate it 180 degrees. Well, let's check. I get negative y equals 9 minus x squared. No, that's not quite the same as the original equation. So it's not symmetric about the origin. So whatever this thing is, whatever this graph looks like, it hits at 3 and negative 3 on the x-axis. It hits at 9 on the y-axis. It's not symmetric top and bottom to the x-axis. It is symmetric left and right on the y-axis. And it's not symmetric about the origin. So if I want to draw a sketch of this, it doesn't look like a straight line because it's not uh, a linear equation. So I'll draw a little bit of a curve to it. And I'll just draw the right side. I'll just connect those dots. And I know that since it's symmetric about the y-axis, it should look the same on the left as it does on the right. I'll try my best to do that. And the function must look something like this, an upside-down parabola.
Thank you.